Hi guys, so welcome to another video. I am back with a simple look. Y'all know on my channel, we love for simple looks. We don't try to do anything that is going to take a lot of time, that's going to take a lot of concentration, that's going to take a lot of work. That's not me. That's not what I do. If I do do it, if it's something that I want to do, like I have to like plan it out in my head to mentally want to sit there and do it <laughs> but other than that we're keeping it simple so yeah i use some old school products that i found in my stash while cleaning up if you want to know what i use what i think about these products and this is a very simple look i didn't use like right now i can probably say i use nine products so yeah if you want to see all of this good stuff make sure you keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe Bye guys. Okay guys, first I'm going to start off with my primer. Today I'm using two different primers just because I was cleaning up and I found these. Whatever. So one is the I Heart Revolution Strawberry Whipped Blur Plur. I Heart Revolution Strawberry Whipped Pore Blurring Primer with Vitamin C and E. I used to use this all the time. And then the next one is the Makeup Forever Step 1 base coat. Can't really say that I've used this a lot. But you all know I like to use a primer that's going to blur my pores first. And then I'll go in with a mattifying or hydrating primer depending on what foundation I'm using. This smells really good. If you like strawberries... really good and it's very smoothing on the skin and I would say this is not probably over five dollars at Ulta oh I didn't even know I thought this was a mattifying one but this is like the orange corrector one I don't know what I thought it was. <laughs> We're still going to use it today since I already pulled it out. So let's see. I just know it was the mattifying one. I'm still going to focus it on my T-zone area. Yeah, it doesn't um, show up orange on the skin. It just kind of like evens out your skin tone. So this is going to be a really quick, quick, quick video. So as you all know, let me do my paint pot if I can find it. I'm going to do the paint pot in laying low. Okay, so as you all know, I was cleaning up lately and I stumbled across something I when I first started makeup, I used to use all the time and it is my MAC Studio Fix Concealers, my Skin Tone Shade of NC50, my Highlight Shade of NC45. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to try to do my makeup like I used to do back in the day. So, let's start off with NC50 because all I used to use was concealer and powder back in the day. So, all, as you can see, I've always been just a concealer and powder girl. So, I'm going to warm it up. Hopefully, this doesn't break me out because my nose expired. That I knew. Let me warm it up on the back of my hand just a little bit. I saw this and got excited. You hear me? You would have thought I hit the jackpot. Okay. I'm warming it up on the back of my hand because 
and then okay let's try let's just do my areas that I normally do I used to love this concealer and that used to be the only thing that um we would go buy was this concealer you know what I mean well I would Okay, let me bear with me spray. Because if you don't know, this concealer is kind of thick. And I had a brush that I was going to use. Oh, it's not your typical foundation brush. I think this is a contour brush by Shop Me Say. But this is what I'm using today. Gonna take it over my eyelids also. And take the same sponge and kind of like make sure no streaks or anything are in there. Which it doesn't, it's looking flawless. And blend it into my hairline. Mac never lets me down. Ever, ever, ever lets me down. So next is my NC45. Do they still sell a concealer, y'all? I don't know, but I love it. Highlight with this. This is my perfect foundation shade and my perfect highlight shade. Nobody do MAC like that. I like MAC. No, I don't talk about MAC no more. But I like it. And for contour... I got MAC Studio Tech Foundation, and this is in the shade NW48. As you can see, kind of dark, kind of dark and deep. <laughs> but we like dark and deep. Let's get the blender. I'm going to spray my face one more time. Let's go. Y'all see how natural that looks on my skin? It just looks flawless, like effortless, and not a lot of work at all. You got to make sure you blend because this concealer is thick. Next, let's blend out this. Contour, which I can never find a contour brush. So I'm gonna try this one. Oh, I like that.
I'm going to take my Too Faced Peach Perfect Caramelized Peach to set the highlight. I don't know where this was hiding at me. You know, why was this powder hiding from me? I haven't seen it in months. Then I found eyeshadow Max Brown Down. Y'all remember, everybody used to use brown down for everything. So I'm just going to put that all over my lid. No particular order, shape, whatever. Just got probably got glitter on that brush. Brown down. Probably was the first dark shade that everybody used to talk about. Dark brown shade. For the life of me, when I first started watching YouTube, probably 2010, 2011 maybe, it was this young lady and she used to always review uh, MAC eyeshadows and new collections. She used, to all, she used to always create looks using MAC eyeshadows. I cannot remember her name, cannot remember what her channel was, but she was like real creative. She used to always, always use brown script <laughs> in her crease. I even found a MAC blush in my stash called uninterrupted if i could find it i probably have to show y'all in another video but um they used to use that as a contour and if i was to show you that shade like nothing about that shade looks like it showed up on my skin tone that shade is so light so we probably going to get that a try in another video to see what in the world i was thinking because Nothing about that says contour at all. And it's uh, it was called uninterrupted blush. So you see I'm just smoking it out basically. Blending it out. Packing it on. Blending it out. Packing it on. I'm not going to put glitter on no matter how bad I want to right now. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just going to blend it out. Make sure you catch those edges. And it used to be, I would probably use this mm -hmm. on my eyelid and then use brown script as the transition. Because, you know, brown script is kind of like that orange shade. We're going to take a visit to MAC. That's probably what we'll do this weekend. I'll take y'all and we'll go to MAC to see what new products they might have. Or what we just been missing. Because I can honestly say, like, I never go on Max website at all. Not because, you know, I don't think they're good. Only because, you know, you usually go on the website when someone sends you an email. Or you see an advertisement or something like that. And I don't get a lot of those from Mac. But I love Mac. Okay, let me throw on some liner and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to take some of the same brown down, brown down shade and put that on my lower lash line. I used a brown liner. I thought black would be too harsh, so I just used the brown today. Next, to dust off the powder off my face, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix NC47 powder to 
get this powder off my face. I want to use a little bit of this because this is extremely full coverage. Or if you're going for full coverage, look there. Pack on however much you want to. But for me, the concealer has done the job, so I don't need that much more coverage. almost done y'all spray again uh what am i gonna do okay mm. i'll take some brown down since we're using minimal products and i'll use this to blush contour whatever <laughs> and only for y'all, I found in my stash the gold deposit. <laughs> y'all know I don't even highlight like that. Like what and that's why it's brand new. That's why it's never been used. But y'all know this was a wave. Everybody was doing it, using it. So only for y'all. We're gonna do it today. <sighs> Y'all see a difference? Okay, so I don't feel as bad. Oh, that's oh, y'all see that? <laughs> y'all see that glow? Oh gosh, y'all see that glow? See this glow. All right, let me stop and let's spray my face. For lips, I think I'm going to keep it real simple. Of course, I can't find any of my MAC lip liners. So I'm going to use this Wet n Wild. It's an eyebrow pencil, but I use it as a lip liner. It's called Simmer Brown. Simmer Brown. The name is going off, but I'm pretty sure it's called Simmer Brown. Okay, I found several lip products, I think. This is a KVD in Blossom. I want to say it's a matte, yeah, it's a matte lip, liquid lip. Wow, that's marinating. I'll take if you um if you all were looking for a mascara, you know, an affordable mascara from the drugstore, this Uma Beauty by Sharon C is really good. I found it at Walmart for seven dollars and like ninety eight cent. It's really good. On days that I don't wear lashes, I'll just pop some of this on, and it makes it full, not clumpy, not clumpy. It's really nice. I, about a week ago, I decided I was going to try lashes, and I tried them, and they were on my eyes for one day, because when I woke up the next morning, me at night doing this, they were off. I can't do the lashes. I was like, well, that's money down the drain. And I'm also afraid that, you know, if you keep getting those individual lashes, like it'll pull my um, real eyelashes out. So I just use a strip. It took me forever to learn how to do a strip anyway. So 
all that practice is not going to go to waste. So I'll just continue to do my strip. So then I'm going to use Fortune Cookie, the NYX Gloss, to put on top of this. It's almost the same color. But the KVD was a um, matte. So I need to get a brush to blend out these edges of this lip liner. So I'm not looking like an R&B group in the 90s. So I'm going to that. <laughs> like I say, R&B, and I bust out singing Tony Braxton. Oh, that looks good, Guanana. Guanana. Yeah, nice natural look. And y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. I cannot talk for nothing. All right? Straight my face again, y'all. You don't have to spray your face as much as I do. I just like spraying my face. I just like the water on my face. You don't have to spray your face as much as I do, but I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back. This is the completed simple look using my favorite, some of my favorite MAC products. I'm so glad I went through that box and found these items. Let me get up close because I think I forgot to get up close on the last video. So you all can really see how my face looks. So this is how I'm looking with just a concealer powder, little highlight, no blush or any of that. I love the eyes. The eyes are just simple and effortless and y'all know I love brown. <laughs> so yeah, this is a quick, this will be really good summer look to jump head if you want to head out and the weather is hot and just throw this on and head out the door. Oh, yeah i like this look so comment below let me know what mac products you love that you're still using let me know if you think that mac is over if mac is overrated or if um, mac is really not being advertised enough so yeah always i'm always open for conversation and make sure you like comment and subscribe and until next time i'll see you in my next video bye guys